Robin, who's uh, an exquisite friend and who has done the dance part of our program. When we left at noon today, we kind of staggered out of this room because this is what it's been like day after day after day. And uh, in Sufism, they speak about a certain figure who's called a dervish, and what a dervish is is somebody who's intoxicated with God. <laughs> and that's how we were feeling. So world after world seems to have opened, and it's my job when we come together each morning and each afternoon to kind of lead the attunement. And I thought, what next, you know? So when we came together, um, this story came. It's a Sufi story. There was a king, and he was feeling pretty bleak. You know how it is sometimes when you get all dried out in your soul? And he really wanted some juice, some inspiration. So he sent out an invitation to all the artists in the kingdom that there would be a month-long celebration of the soul. And each artist was asked to bring their most exquisite work. And day after day, more was poured into his heart and more was poured into his heart. And you could feel it stretching. You know, sometimes when beauty is so exquisite, it hurts because you feel it pull at the walls of your heart and make it wider. So this went on day after day, and finally the last day came, and the last artist gave their gift. And he knew his heart was held together by just a very few strands. And all he could do was sigh. Now at that moment, there was a knock on the door of the palace. <clears throat> and the servant opened the door. And there was a dervish, a God-intoxicated one. And he said, I have come with an offering for the king. Now the servant is the good bureaucrat in all of us. And the servant said, sorry, but the time for soul food's all over. You'll have to go back. Now, dervishes aren't people who take no for an answer. And so he just looked at him and said, I'm going to see the king. So he went back to the king, afraid to deal with the dervish. And he said, uh, excuse me, your majesty, but um, there's someone else who has something to offer. And the king, he couldn't even speak. So finally, he, the only words he could get out were, get me a glass, some wine, and a tray. So the servant brought those three things, and the king placed the goblet on the tray. And then he took the wine, and he poured it in the goblet. And it got filled to the top, and he kept pouring, and it overflowed all over the goblet and filled the whole tray. And he said, take it to him. If he's a true dervish, he'll understand. So the servant carried it very gently, making his way. And he came into the room where the dervish was, and he just showed it to him. And the dervish responded with such a sigh because he felt in that wine and in that overflowing goblet all the inspiration that had poured into the king's heart for a month. And he said, but one moment. And he reached inside of his coat and he pulled out a rose and he pulled a petal from the rose and he placed it on top of the cup and he said, take it back to the king. So the servant carried it back to the king and the king looked and he broke into a huge smile because he knew there was room enough for just the rose petal and he also knew it would crack his heart wide open. 
So today, we've been looking at the heart as two things. On one hand, we've looked at the heart as an empty bowl, the place of emptiness in spiritual life, like the Buddha, like St. Francis of Assisi, our willingness to go out into life with the heart as an empty bowl and to live on whatever life will place into it. Because life is always offering something to feed us. And if the bowl's empty, then we can appreciate whatever is put in. Now the heart is the place of great mystery. It holds the opposites. It holds the empty bowl. And at the same time, it's also the other image in Sufism, where the heart is a chalice that holds the whole ocean of the divine. And Hazar Khan said, the human heart can stretch to such a degree that the whole universe could fit in it as a single drop. So we offer you one more song, and it's called My Cup Runneth Over. <laughs> Please play my strings <laughs> Open his heart to your sweet song <laughs> Help me stay with love's 
God's own voice and may we all sing so strong I fill my cup oh, fill my cup I fill my cup fill my cup fill my cup Precious gifts from here back into my daily life. Sometimes it gets so hard to feel you near amidst all that strain and strife. Creature of the mountain, I like my spaces high and wide, singing and praying in these far walls. I found my mountain in the space inside. Fill my cup, fill my cup. We are 
are so grateful to Deborah Ray. In just four days we are acquired. We found a deeper joy in song and set aflame a gospel fire. You filled us up, filled us up. Our sopranos. So much to live for, so much to live for, so much to live for. And the alto, so much to live for, so much to live for, so much to live for. With the sopranos. So much to live for, so much to live Too high sopranos. So much to live There you go. In our tenor part, so much to live for, so much to live for. You might want to listen. Don't guess. So much to live for, so much to live for, so much to live for, so much to live for. So much to live for, so much to live for. Now we try three parts. So much to live for, so much to live for, so much to live for. Have you found?
on your part. So much to live for, so much to live for, so much to live for. And our bass part would be so much to live for, way up there, so so much to live for, so much to live for. Again, so much to live for, so much to live for. I know we have basses out there. Let's sing. So much. Okay, here we go. So much. Other great part that goes like this. Can't tell it all. I just can't tell it, tell it all. Can't tell it all. I just can't tell it, tell it all. Can't tell it all. I just can't. I just can't tell it, tell it all. would sing, can't tell it all, come on, it's logical, come on, sing, I just can't tell it, tell it all, there you go, can't tell it all, I just can't tell it, tell it all, you hear the next part, can't tell it all, I just can't tell it, tell it all. Oh, 
much to live for. I've got so much, I've got so much to live for. I've got so much. Is there another verse out there? Is there another verse out there someplace? Another testimony? If you see me walking right, you know that God is using me. Yeah, yeah. If you see me talking right, you know that God is using me. I've got so much. Cause all your beauty's with me I hope I take it I know I'll take it How can I leave it here? I got so much to live for So much to live for So much to live
just the voices. So much to live for. Just voices. Let's hear ourselves. Don't you sound beautiful? Just hum it. God bless all of you. Um, the staff of Omega asked me to just let you know that tonight has been taped, and you can get it on a cassette tape or you can get it on a videotape, so whenever you have the blues, <laughs> you can find us there. Amen. Beautiful, and uh, I'd like to ask the staff of the Transformation Workshop Retreat to come up beside me. The faculty, the facilitators. As we all did this together. The Orpheus, Orpheus. Thank you. <laughs> when you get your catalog and you have to make a choice, consider us. <laughs> Thank you. Good night.